Good morning and welcome to Wombat Dungeon Master Beginner Guides where we're going to go ahead and talk about increasing your MP, staking different NFTs on both the WAX blockchain and the EOS blockchain and show you the basics around this and give you some tips and tricks that you may want to use as you're moving forward. Let's go ahead and talk about it. We are here on the main screen and you can go ahead and see that uh, this whole section here is what we're going to be looking at. The main goal of playing the game is going ahead and increasing your MP or your mining power as high as possible so every time you do a run it gives you the maximum results. You can increase it a number of different ways from essentially increasing it by putting in different um, different NFTs from both WAX or the OS blockchain. You can go ahead and use different equipment that will increase your MP. And then you can also increase your level, which gives you a, a wider range or a bigger chunk of the available MP. Today, we're going to talk about just the NFTs in general. You can go ahead and stake a total of 200 NFTs, 100 on the WAX blockchain, 100 on the EOS blockchain. As you're aware, my main focus is on the WAX blockchain, so that's where I have most of my NFTs. And what we're going to do today is go ahead and show you show you how to stake, unstake, and the different details that you need to know about it. In the last video, we went through the process of creating a new NFT, and now that we have the new Fire NFT, we're going to go ahead and stake that and show you the different mining power. So again, you have some different options here. The first thing that we're going to do is click on this button right in the middle here. This is where you go ahead and stake your NFTs to increase your mining power. If you click on that, it's going to show you two different tabs. We have the WAX blockchain that you have, a, I essentially have 101 WAX NFTs that I can go ahead and stake if I want to stake. And I currently have zero EOS. So I'm not going to totally dive into the EOS side in this video, uh, but it just it's essentially the, the same requirements from both sides. So the main thing I want to do, and if you remember correctly from my last video, I'm going to go ahead and I got this NFT that we're going to go ahead and stake. And what you can see here is they're all divided into different collections. You see the dungeon items. You see another one of the dungeon items. You see Waxel World. If you scroll down, you got Taco. There's a whole lot of different collections that you can go ahead and stake within Dungeon Masters. If you go to the Discord, which I'll have a link in the description down below, they have a, a full spreadsheet pinned in there that gives you every single NFT that you can go ahead and stake within the game, a value that it essentially connects to. Please understand that those values change almost every season. So the value that may be in that spreadsheet may be a little bit off. It may be a little delayed, a little, a little behind. So just take it as uh, just a, a high level guide. Um, so it may not be 100% accurate. So the other thing that you're going to want to look at is if you look here, harvesting material, and it has an icon. This, this group of NFTs is going to help my uranium. If I scroll down to Waxel World, this Waxel World set is going to help my iron harvesting. Let's keep scrolling down to see if I can get, we got some coal here. And if you keep going down, you'll see basically you can you can click through each of them. This one goes ahead and gives you uranium. And as you can see, just keep scrolling down coal and so forth. So you can either focus all of your MP on one type of material, which if obviously depending on your budget, or you can have it spread through all the different materials. The hardest material that you're going to have to find NFTs for is gold because there is only one, two, technically two NFTs right now that you can stake for gold. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stake this one right here. You'll see the the uh, the mint number, the NFT itself, and the mining power. Typically, and this is not always 100% correct, the higher the value, uh, the higher the mining power, or the, the better the rarity, obviously, the, the better the mining power. So this fire one that I did in the last video is going to give me 300 MP, which is pretty good for one NFT. I'll go ahead and click on it. It highlights it. And you can see right down here, it says hide. Essentially, hide is the same as staking. So if I click on hide, it's going to give me, are you sure you want to do this? Because it's going to take 24 hours to unstake it. When I want to go through the process to unstake it, I'm going to say sure. And then we go ahead and it is staked. I now have, a, if I go back to this button, you'll see that I don't have that NFT available to stake anymore. It is now within the ones that I have staked. Uh, if you remember correctly, this went up just a, just a smidge, and I got one more NFT towards uranium. All right, now let's say that you have a couple NFTs staked that you want to, one, either check what you have staked, 
or two, you want to go ahead and unstake it and remove it and bring it back out of the game. What you want to do is there's this little section up here that says 105 NFTs hidden. That's how many I have staked right now. Click on that and it's going to allow you to go through all the different ones that you have available. You can see by the bar, bars up here, I have 98 WAX available and I have 7 EOS available. And I can go down through the actual different ones that I have that I want to go ahead and select or unselect. So let's use this as an, as an example. I have a uh, WAX award on NFT, the citizens one, that I'm going to go ahead and remove. If I click on that and I click on release NFT, remember it's going to take 24 hours to go through the process. Click on that and I wait the 24 hours before I can pull it out. Say the 24 hours has passed and we are ready to pull that one out. All you have to do is click on the returned and it's going to show you the NFTs that you can go ahead and pull out of your out of your Wombat. It's not Wombat wallet, but within the game of Wombat. So all you have to do is go ahead and click on the item and claim your NFT and it will be in your Wax wallet. Uh, if, you, if it's an EOS NFT, it's going to go to your EOS uh, wallet. The other thing I wanted to note, if I... You saw how I just clicked on one of these citizens to go ahead and unstake from the game. If I scroll all the way down, you're going to see that the timer is there. It's going to show you the exact timer. You must wait till that 24 hours expires to be able to pull it out. These I had uh, processed in the past, just so I'd have some examples to show you. So all you have to do is wait the 24 hours, go through the process, and you have them unstaked. These do add a lot of MP. You can go ahead and go on a budget and get low MP ones that are cheap. It takes some work. It takes some finding because that list that I mentioned earlier in the spreadsheet is huge, but it gives you a lot of details. It tells you the materials. It tells you the potential MP uh, and then shows you the collection that's that's available for you to go ahead and boost up. This is going to be important because sidekicks, because they add different boosts throughout the different seasons towards specific uh, collections. So make sure you you take some time and you think about what NFTs that you want to go ahead and stake in game. But that's how simple it is. A reminder, you stake it. It has to be in there 24 hours to go through the unstaking process. Then you can claim it. to get. But you also lose the MP once you go ahead and claim it. All right. Please let me know if you have any questions about staking NFTs in game. Or if you have any other topics that you want to see beginner's guides. All right. I hope you have a great day and I'll talk to you later. Bye.